getting my apron on, getting set up, decided to do just a pop-up live stream. Hopefully I can start planning these live streams. And let me just make sure. Start oh. planning. Yep, just make sure everything is all set. Got my little chat box open. Hopefully I can start planning these live streams a little bit more and give you a little notice. I'm still working on my schedule, but thank you for joining me, even if you're watching on a replay. Um, this last week, I decided to play with some texture options, and I did post on the community page um, a couple of the photos, and here is one of them. It's an acrylic paint pour I did four years ago. I didn't put any dates, so it's been a little while. Um, but I decided I really didn't like it very much. I like some parts of it. Like I like, whoops, sorry, the glare, this area. I think it looks cool. I like how the spiral turned out. I like how the cells turned out, but then there was this big glob right here. I should have taken a before picture and I'm sorry. So I decided to try some of my texture paste that I had sitting around and it was from ranger arts it was the texture paste they have some other ones but that was just the simple one and i decided i haven't used it in years i had it sitting around and i used to love it but then i got into this whole acrylic paint pouring thing and resin art and you know that sucked up my life and now i have all these paint pours and i'm like wow they're great backgrounds so i'm going to embellish them so this was me attempting to dive back into texture art and I did the flower outline and I painted it I added some it's hard to see in here added some black detail lines with an acrylic pen and then I got my gold metallic marker just to brighten it up I have not even sealed this yet and look how flashy glossy it is so here's one of them and then the other one since I used all my ranger texture paste I started going on um, YouTube to find out what other options are there for texture paste because when I was using it years ago it was just all the major brand names um, I didn't really find any DIYs that I liked but I found one video I don't have the link to it I'm gonna have to find it and if I do I'll find it but it uses all-purpose filler Whoop. get it off Amazon it's white and smooth, no sagging, shrinkage, or cracking, ready mixed. I was like, whoa, very cool. And I made this on one of my pores. And I liked how this turned out too. And I just did the same thing, except I used the all-purpose filler. I painted it, added the acrylic pen for details, added a crazy looking stem. And I really liked how this turned out. So <clears throat> I decided this would be a good live stream for today because I made another test board the other day and this is just using the filler straight out of here just like I did with this flower except as I'm working with it now that this is my second piece with the filler I am noticing how grainy it is. And I tried to duplicate these flower petals, and they were kind of hard. They wouldn't really stick to my palette knife. They kept like clumping off. And in some of the videos I've been looking, it wasn't soft. It wasn't fluffy. Here we go. The white of this board is throwing my cameras off. Sorry. But I wanted to try again. So I thought I would try with you on a new board. Let me set this over here. And this time I did a little more research and several videos said like a spackle or filler. So I'm gonna do my all purpose filler and white glue. So I'm gonna mix these together and see if I can get the texture that I like. And one of the things I did learn in all my research is this texture, as being an artist, it's what you like. And that's why there are different brands. There's like grit texture, 
um, gloss texture, all sorts of different textures out there. So it's whatever you like to use with your art. So this will be my little journey, my little experiment to see what I like. So far, I do like the two paintings I did. I think I need to add something to them, but I'm not quite sure yet. I'm still working on that. Um, but this other one I think is good. It's very grungy, very grungy, very almost, they almost look like weeds because they're just, they're just kind of lifey, I guess. Is lifey even a word? I don't know. So there's that. So I thought we'd try again. I have a new board. We're going to make, I'm going to switch my cameras real quick. And if you are, with me right now jump in the chat box and say hi i like to see um who's watching where you're from let me know if you've done texture and what you've used and what you don't like and as we get going i'll tell you some of the things i learned about some baking soda mixtures it's kind of weird so let me switch my camera and is it oh That'll, that'll work. Okay. This will be good. And I might move these so I don't get them. So I don't make a mess with them. And then this one. Here, can, can you see this better on this camera? Oh, yeah. Look at there. See how grungy and sandy it looks? Which is cool. It's a texture effect. But I would like one that's smooth and a little easier to control. So I thought these flowers were cool. And what I'm thinking of doing with this one is I'm going to paint pour over it, obviously. Um, but on this side right here, whoops, <laughs> cameras are throwing me off. On this side that I have this texture, I thought I would maybe do a gold. Some sort of gold, solid gold, so to pick up, make it shiny and bright and blingy, and then maybe use primary colors with some black over here. So I don't know. We're going to, we'll get to that part, but I want to try a new one. So I'm going to put my new board here. I am going to put my gloves on. And I will say, I did um, on my YouTube channel. I did set up a membership option um, that you can click join. And if you don't see a join button by the subscribe box, there's a link in the description. And the reason why I did it is because I was chatting with several people I know and a couple people online, and they're encouraging me, you know, how can they support me without necessarily buying my art? And doing this way, you can buy me a coffee. So there's three different levels and it is a monthly subscription. The first level, let me make sure I'm, I changed it a few times. So I had to write it down. Um, the first one is $2.99 and it's a small coffee. The second level is $4.99 and it's a medium coffee and a large coffee, $6.99. And large coffees, I like large coffees and they do last all day long. <laughs> a lot of caffeine. But that does help support my channel, help support me, because I do love experimenting and teaching things with you. And seeing how they turn out. Okay, so here is our all-purpose filler. The recipe I found is two parts of this, one part glue. So I'm going to do my best to eyeball this. And... It's down at the bottom of the bucket. And whoa. Let me shake it up a little. Can you see how this texture is already? It's already pretty thick, which is awesome. And it can go smooth, but it's kind of just gooey. It's like a, if you make cookies, it's a sticky dough is the best way I can describe it. So I just want to make it just a little bit softer. Oops. A little more, a little more shapeable that'll stay on my palette knife. Okay. 
So here we go. I got what I'm considering two parts. My eyeball measurement of two parts. And let me just see if I can get it down there. I think next time I won't use such a tall bowl. Okay. I got that. I'm just going to set this aside for a moment and get my napkin because here I go making a mess. Just going to set my knife right down here and glue. I'm going to put one part glue and I have learned that, there you go, there's one part. If it is too thick, we could add more glue, you know, too thin, more filler, or, you know, see how it goes, maybe add a touch of water. And adding water is okay, but just, you know, with paint pouring, so many artists add water, but I use very little water because all the research I've done, you know, acrylic paint is pigments and binders. So you add water, the binders, you're kind of weakening the binders. So that's how I feel about this, is we're going to add water and, you know, maybe it won't be as, as effective. Maybe it won't build up as far. You know, I don't know. We are going to find out, though. Um... And here I am mixing. It's mixing really well together. Holy cow. It is almost like a pancake batter now, which I think I would like it a little heavier. And my little eyeball method, I have a feeling I added too much glue, which is okay. So here, let's add a little more filler. And... Gonna scoop it out. I'm using a plastic palette knife for that, which probably isn't the best idea because this palette knife is flexy. So I got one big scoop. We're gonna add it in. And I'm just mixing until I find a consistency that I think will be good for me to work with. And depends on the project you wanna use too. I did see this one video where they used a wire mesh. Ooh, that's thickening up nice. They used a wire mesh. They molded it onto canvas, so it created these dimensional waves. And then they did plaster Paris strips to put it on top of the mesh to kind of keep the shape. And then they just built it up with texture paste. And it was like so awesome. It's like, oh my gosh. I totally want to do that. Just paint pour all over it. <laughs> okay. Just mix in. I just see a couple lumps, so I'm just trying to work those out. And... I think this is good, but it's just so much thinner than what's in there. I'm going to add one more scoop and see what happens. Sorry, I keep going off camera. And I did get this filler off Amazon. I looked for it in my Home Depot. I couldn't find it. Um, I found other brands, but I didn't see anything that said uh, no cracking, no shrinking. It was just kind of just generic stuff. And to be fair, the shelves were a little empty too, so maybe they do carry it. Um... I'll probably go back this next week and find out. Okay, added another scoop. And there we go. So if you've done texture art, let me know. And let me know what you're using. If you are sticking with the brand names, because I know Liquitex has their texture mediums, Ranger texture mediums, Golden has their texture mediums. I was in Michael's today. I didn't see any in their Artist Loft brands, but 
by the time I started looking, my hands are full. So <laughs> I'm like, I got to get out of here before I spend more money. <laughs> okay. This is looking good. That's what happened. Okay. The next time I do this, I need to make more of an effort to measure to do two parts to one part, two parts of this filler to one part glue. I think I put too much glue, which is why it got that pancake batter. Because now look, it's just so much more thicker. It's great. No water needed in this one. And if you joined me last week, I was working on the pearl paints by Amsterdam. I did a paint for. I videoed. I actually sealed them today, believe it or not. I was going to wait two weeks, but they were dry. It took a while to dry to get the color out, but they were dry to the touch. They're very lightweight. And I did a little video. So later tonight, I will go post that so you can see. And I don't know. They're awesome. I'm waiting for my shipment to come that I ordered last week because I can't wait to do more. I'm debating waiting on paint pouring these until I get my pearl paints, but we'll see. Depends if I can be patient. I'm not sure I can. Okay. All right. Look it. I don't know. We're going to try this. I'm going to try it. I'm going to see what happens. Because if I add more filler, it will thicken it up more. But see, even as I thicken it, it's still not gritty like it was just straight out. Okay, hold on. I, there is not much left in here. So I may just get it, just use the rest of this. And it does say um, on my research to, I can make this in bulk and then just put it in an airtight container and it lasts about eight to 10 months in an airtight container, as long as you don't use a lot of water. So whatever I do tonight, I'm not too worried about. I'm not going to waste. Yeah. I mean, I just may put it back in this container. It might be what needs to happen right now. So I've got my popsicle stick now. The plastic palette knife was a little too flexy. And let's see. Last week when I was doing those pearl paints and um, after the stream, I decided, my daughter told me, hey, you know, if it's supposed to dry and change colors, why don't you just live stream it? I said, oh my gosh, that's such a great idea. I'll just turn the stream on all night. Turn the volume down so you couldn't hear my cats all night. And it went 12 hours. <laughs> and then the internet went out. And the internet never goes out. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I looked it up on Xfinity. 2,000 customers were out. I was like, what are the chances of that happening? Did I really just break the internet with live streaming? <laughs> Paint drying? <laughs> Sorry, Xfinity. It's live streaming my paint drying and I broke your internet. <laughs> All right. You know what? I'm glad I did that. This is much better. Much better. Okay. The next time I'm going to get another container of this because I just used it all. I'm going to go buy another one. And the next time I mix this, I'll actually measure it. It's supposed to be two parts of the filler to one part of the glue. And I just eyeballed it the way I do everything. <laughs> But this is much better. It is, I feel like, look at the consistency's heavier. There's a couple lumps right there. I'll get them out. It is running off the stick, but look, it's puddling. Can you see how it puddles? I think that's great. I don't think it'll dry flat. So if you're just now joining, thank you. Welcome. Thank you for hanging out with me. I, um, last week was working on embellishing some of my paint pours and I got out some of my 
texture paste and fell in love with using it again. It's been a long time. It's probably been five, six years since I've done anything mixed media, really, with texture paint. Um, so I used my Ranger, it's Ranger Texture, Ranger Distressed Texture Paste. But it was a little cat, little jar. I used it all. And then I saw a video to use all purpose filler, two parts to one part. And I saw several videos of people doing this. So um, I decided to make a board just straight out of the container filler using this and i like it it's gritty it's rough i had a hard time keeping it on my palette knife it just especially you can see on the ends it just didn't want to stay so the ends got messy but i like how this is turning out anyhow um so that's why i found other videos and i found this one two parts to one part and that's what we're trying tonight that you can hang out with me while I experiment. You know, for all I know, this is going to be a total, total dive. Who knows? But so far, I'm loving how smooth it is. How I think this will be manageable. I'm going to cross my fingers. If not, go back to the drawing board. And I got some canvas boards to experiment on. And it's just practice. And the best thing I love about practice is you don't have to be perfect. You just allow yourself to practice, to make mistakes. Yeah. And it, you know what? It's just getting more thick as I let it sit, too. So we are going to try it and see what happens. Okay. So here is my clean canvas board. Just going to... Set it down, push this over here. I'm gonna put this in the frame so you can actually see it. Oh, shadows, sorry. I might actually put that over here. Um, I have my phone over here, and here is, this is just a plastic palette. I got it. Because I kind of want to see, when I painted this one, or did the texture on this one, I just took my palette knife right out of the container. And that might have been part of my problem. So I got, pulled out my palette to see if that'll help. Put over here. Okay, sorry there's a lot of white in here. I hope it doesn't mess the cameras up too much. So I'm going to take this. Oh, wow. This is working even better. Okay. Look at that. You want to load it so it's on the back of your knife. And it is still very creamy, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to see what happens. Got it on the back of my knife. Put it on. Oh. Better already. It is still a little thin, but it's not as messy or grainy as that one. So I have a feeling this won't build up as high as that because I did add the glue. That's okay. Someone said I could add sand to it. I'm not really too sure about adding sand. Wow. How fun. Look at that. I'm just loading it on my palette knife as best as I can. Going in the middle, pushing down, and gently pulling up. Huh. 
Yeah, this almost looks a little too thin. So I'm going to, um, you know what, hang on real quick. I do have, I'm going to try it. I'm going to experiment. But I have to go around the back of my table. And I have, do have some white sand. Didn't really want to try it, but I'm going to try it. And I need a little, just a little spoon to pull it out so I don't get sand all over my table. And I do apologize if you hear my cat banging on the door. She's been a little crazy with shut doors. So I'm just sprinkling it on a little bit. Let's see if, yeah, see what happens. That is kind of a cool texture. <laughs> wow. Not what I wanted, but that is. Can you hear it? Oh, wow. That is a gritty texture. Okay, hang on. I'm going to take this. I'm going to wipe it up. Because that's the best part about practice, right? Now, look at that. Just a little scoop full of sand. And I do see it, but it looks manageable. Okay. We're going to do another scoop. And this is sand I got at Michael's in the floral section. I do have a lot of sand here in Tucson. Yes, I do. But this is white sand. So <laughs> we have brown sand here. Wow. Look at this. just like thickening it up. Mm. Okay, let's try it. See what happens. Okay. Actually, I'm going to clean this off real quick. There's a lot built up. Now, I'm just going to scoop some at the back of my palette knife. Not a big dollop. Gonna put some down, push, and up. And it is holding shape so far. And try it again. This does take a lot of practice. And I am by means no expert at this yet. But I will get there. Thank you for joining me. I do appreciate you spending some time with me. Yep. And this is definitely not one of my favorite recipes yet, but then again, I did not measure. I eyeballed it, and now I'm just experimenting. So this did not really, it holds a little bit of shape, but look at just straight out of the container. Look how much it, the difference. Sorry, it bumped you. <laughs> yeah, big difference already. So now, that doesn't, it's not fantastic with that, but look at that. Holy cow. This is going to be fun to paint on. I didn't really achieve what I wanted to achieve on this by mixing the glue and the filler. And that's okay. I'm loving this, though. Um, here, let me put it all over here. I'm going to spread this all over here and see how it dries and the other part i'm going to just do the what i made and 
hopefully it'll be some cool textures and I can paint pour on top of. Look at that. So this is the gritty sand one. Mix some sand. And your tools, as long as you clean them as you go, you can reuse them. And if you have, you know, your metal palette knives, that's great. I prefer metal because these plastic ones tend to be a little flimsy. But since I'm experimenting, I don't want to accidentally forget to clean these, um, clean, to clean my metal ones. So that's why I'm using the plastic. Okay, look at that. Dollops. Let's see how we can spread this around. See how it builds up. We get the edge with the sand. And I'm just palette knifing it, just having a little bit of fun, making it to the edge. And I'm real curious to see how it's gonna dry when it's like this. I'm gonna leave some edge, some bigger, some thicker. It didn't work too well for my flower technique, so we'll still work on that. And for my flowers, I, you know what? I may just end up going buy more of my um, uh, um, Ranger Distressed because that did work really well. And I did like the flower I did out of this filler when it was a big flower because I took a paintbrush and smoothed it out. I was just hoping to find something where I can just do palette knife flowers without smoothing out. And that was the whole point of this experiment. But, you know, out of experimenting comes learning and finding new ways to make art. Okay, so can you see how I got that all spread out? And I'm going to let it dry like that. And hopefully those textures will dry like that. And I'm going to let it sit here. It takes, I think it took like an hour for this one to dry. And um, I'll let it set, see what happens. And um, if it can dry with these groovy textures, you know, then when I paint pour this one, I'll I'll show you real quick for those who are just joining me a little late. This one. This one I did straight out of here. I didn't add any glue to it. And look at the buildup. It's like so awesome. It just looks a little messy, which I guess is fine for me. You know, I'm like that. But see how it's just a little jaggy? It was really hard to maneuver it with my palette knife because it's not really texture medium for art. It's all-purpose filler for drywall. <laughs> but this is the one that I did using uh, the Distress Tim Holtz Ranger texture medium. And I think that turned out beautiful. I painted it afterwards. I use some gold marker. So, and this was an acrylic paint pour I did several years ago that I just didn't love, but I like it now. I think it's just so interesting and unique. And then this is the other one I did using all purpose filler. And I use the paintbrush to smooth it out. So it can get smooth with some work. I haven't sealed these yet either. That's why you see the shadows around there. Um, you know, I did it, painted it. I thought it was super fun. So we're going to keep experimenting, going to keep it going, going to see how these dry. Let me put these over here. And um, we'll go for there. So if you've done texture art before, let me know what you're using. And if you're doing a DIY texture, let me know your recipe and I'll try it. I'm, I would love to try anything new and DIY. Otherwise, if I can't find one that I love for these type of flowers, this one, oh my gosh, it's great. Put some color in it. Hopefully it'll dry all textury. Um, it still has the uses. We just need to find specific uses for it. 
So thank you so much for joining me tonight. I do appreciate you spending some time with me. And I hope you have a good rest of the evening. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.